çok kanallı deneyim bölümü için söz Derek Fountain'da olacak. Derek Fountain dünyanın dört bir yanında yüzlerce dijital ürünü piyasaya sürdü. Uluslararası ürün lideri olarak birçok startup'a fikirlerini gerçekleştirmesinde yardımda bulundu. Şu anda TRT'nin dijital ürünler bölüm başkanı olarak görev yapan Fountain, yerli ve yabancı televizyon kanallarını ve markaları var olan dijital platformlarda ölçeklendirmekle görevli ekibi yöneten isim. Şimdi alkışlarınızda çok kanallı deneyim sunumunu gerçekleştirmek üzere Sayın Fountain'ı sahneye davet ediyoruz. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Fountain. Hello, sir. Hello. Um, as they mentioned, my name is Derek Fountain, and I lead the um, digital products team at TRT. Um, initially, I joined TRT World, but now my team is responsible for um, the entire TRT network um, of brands and channels. So today, my topic is the multi-channel experience. And by channel, I'm referring to digital channels, not necessarily TV channels. And I'll share some of the lessons and some of the learnings that we've had at TRT and launching, in particular, TRT World as a multi-channel experience. So today's agenda is going to be broken into three parts. In the first part, we'll just get a brief understanding of what a multi-channel experience means. The second part, I'll give four tips on executing a multi-channel strategy. And then the last part, I'll give an example or a case study of the TRT World Daily News Brief and how we use the multi-channel strategy to drive reach, retention, and engagement for that particular product. Understanding the multi-channel experience. So at TRT, we use a, a, a multi-channel strategy to reach connected consumers across a wide range of devices, whether it's mobile apps, smart TVs, uh, smart speakers, and all the emerging devices that are in a consumer's life. And so when you think about a multi-channel strategy, essentially what you're talking about is a multi-channel consumer, the connected consumer. And so with our strategy, we're looking at what channels are available in the home. And so when people are in their homes consuming content over <coughs> you know, a relatively strong Wi-Fi connection, what are the channels that are available there? And then we look at the office, when someone's, you know, in particular, on desktop or laptop computers in the office, what are the channels that are available there for consumption of media? And then thirdly, looking at out of home, when someone is driving in the car or when they're jogging and when they're running, what channels can we leverage to be able to reach consumers on the devices that they're using when they're out of home? And so when you start to look at these different contexts, it can be a bit overwhelming and you can get excited about all the places you can go with your content. Um, but for us, when you start to think about a multi-channel strategy or multi-channel experience, it first has to map to strategy. And for us, we care about three key metrics. That's reach, retention, and engagement. And so it's easy to look at all of the channels that are available in the home, in the office, and out of home, but it still has to go through a filter and map to a strategy that has certain metrics that you're gonna use to measure the success of those channels. And so when we started, to launch TRT World, we were looking at all the channels that we had available, running through this filter, and then decided on a set of core channels or core platforms that would lay the foundation upon which we were going to actually scale and build the digital presence for this new channel. And we applied the same strategy for additional channels. And so first, we said basically, our core platforms you know, that are available as channels, we definitely, definitely need to have mobile apps, we need to have a website, and then we need to have the technology that's going to enable us to scale, and that's an API and our content management system. All of these things were built and developed in-house um, by the digital products team. And so once we set this foundation of a core platforms upon which to scale and build this multi-channel experience, we next looked out and said, video consumption on, on mobile devices and in general is skyrocketing, and so video has to be an a next, you know, uh, 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 the next wave of our strategy. And so we looked at video platforms and video channels. So we launched on Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV. And so still looking at the multi-channel connected consumer, how do we get into people's homes? And through these smart speakers and these video-based channels, we were able to achieve that. Um, and then looking further out, 
what's the next level of, of channels that are available for us as a media company? And so we looked at social and messaging platforms. And so looking at Instagram stories and Twitter and uh, 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 you know, Twitter moments. And so all these things, all these additional channels were available to us. And so we created workflows and processes to be able to produce and publish content to those platforms. And then the last one is more where the R&D sort of sits, where it's emerging and distributed media. And so this is looking at Apple News. It's looking at uh, um, um, smart speakers like Amazon Echo and Google Home. And so when you start to look at all of these channels that are available to us, you know, again, it can be a bit overwhelming, but still it has to map to a strategy. And so all of these things start with the base of, of the channels that are available to us, which ones are gonna drive reach, retention, and engagement. And so I'll give a few tips for how to execute in a multi-channel strategy. When you have all of these options that are available, what, you know, how do you make a decision? How do you decide where to go with your brand and with your product or service? The first step, you know, first piece of advice that I give is to just be present, right? When we launched the TRT World, I'll talk about this in a second. When we launched the TRT World Daily News Brief, we basically want, wanted a presence on these emerging smart speakers, right? So how, you know, as a brand, English-speaking countries were a priority for us. And so one of the big markets for smart speakers was the U.S., and it had, you know, significant adoption. Now, today, one in four American consumers have access to a smart speaker. So we wanted to be there. So what we did initially was we just took our television news summary, cut that, and put that on a smart speaker. That gave us a basic presence. Wasn't a great experience, but it gave us a basic presence, right? So play with a lot of different channels, get a basic presence out there just to explore. Um, one caveat or one downside to having a basic presence on a lot of different channels is something called channel fragmentation happens. Channel fragmentation is when you have a lot of different channels that don't necessarily talk to each other. So over time, a multi-channel strategy can become omni-channel when your channels become more integrated and you can actually leverage data between them. And so what you see here is basically at the top in the green section is a multi-channel strategy or a multi-channel approach. At the bottom in blue is omni-channel, omni-channel, right? In the middle is channel fragmentation. And so launching a lot of different products on a wide range of devices and they don't talk to each other, that creates fragmentation. But you can leverage technology to tie those experiences together and gradually over time, Technology allows multi-channel to become omni-channel, and that fragmentation starts to decrease, where your smart speaker app understands the consumer that's also using your website and understands the consumer that's also engaging with your native mobile apps. And so that fragmentation decreases over time with the help of technologies. Um, again, this is still part of, you know, initially you want a basic presence, but you still want a strategy that can migrate your, let's say, multi-channel siloed experiences into an omni-channel experience where those experiences are integrated and interconnected. The next tip that I would give is to be personal. And personal is in two parts, right? So one is the more that you know about the consumer and the consumption that's happening across these channels, the more that you can personalize those experiences and make them more relevant. Personal is also being native to those platforms, creating native experiences. I mentioned earlier that with our daily news brief, we created a a version of our, we took our television content and put it on a smart speaker. That wasn't a native experience. That was television on a speaker. So what we did, you know, we took a step back and actually started to produce native content for the smart speakers. So we have our same editorial teams writing original news summaries, a two minute summary each day and producing that, packaging that up and then sending it out, sending that out to smart speaker devices. And that was a native experience. Um, made for those devices. So it's personal and it's native. The next tip that I would give is to be smart, right? Leverage analytics and data to really understand what's happening across these devices. When you look at smart speakers like Amazon Echo, it's one of the most uh, uh, attractive in terms of being able to really understand what consumers want from the product or the service because they're speaking with their words. It's a voice interface. The only interface they have is the sound of their voice. So we learned a lot from the errors that the app was, was generating. If we, you know, for example, we made a quiz, um, a quiz game for the smart speaker, and when consumers or users say the wrong word, we know that we need to update the product to actually account for that. And so from the errors and the mistakes that people were 
having with a product that helped us evolve it and to improve it over time. And this is using analytics and using data to really understand usage, understand consumption, and be smart about where to invest. Still on the part about where to invest, be focused. That's the last step, is don't be afraid to walk away from channels that don't work. Um, you know, we experimented with a lot of channels, you know, being very lean. We launched a VR app. Uh, we had a lot of other things that we experimented with. We had a voice adventure game on Echo, but only one of those three voice apps actually took off and had a sizable impact, right? And so it's, don't be afraid to walk away from channels. So one is, is be smart, learn from the data, but then act on that data and walk away from the channels that are not performing or meeting those KPIs of reach, retention, engagement. So the last part of, of, of my talk, I know I'm going pretty fast, <laughs> um, but I'll speak a bit more about the daily news brief and the lessons that we had there. So the daily news brief has started off as uh, an app for Amazon Echo. And, and this is, again, looking at those different contexts that I spoke about at the beginning. How do you reach consumers in the connected home? How do you reach them in the office? And then how do you reach them when they're on the go? Initially, we were looking at the connected home. How can we get into people's homes in the countries that we want to serve? And so coming up with an audio summary of the most important news stories of the day was an idea and a product that we actually came up with and, and, and launched, and it's live now. And so the daily news brief is by TRT World, so it's a two-minute summary of the most important stories happening today. And that content, like I say, it's written by our editorial teams, it's edited by the teams, voice narrated by different people on the teams, the same people that write the stories for the website, they're also voice narrating this in rotation every day. Right? And it's a very successful product. Um, and so we initially we said, let's launch this for Amazon Echo. And then now it's available as a widget on our website. It's also available as Twitter cards. And so our social team take the same daily news brief, repackaged and reversioned that, and use that on Twitter every day. They push that out. And then also inside of our mobile apps, you know, I think the, the new TRT World app launched last week. Um, it also has a native audio player inside of it that has the daily news brief. And so this product that initially started out for the smart speaker, now we've actually scaled that across a wide range of platforms and devices, even uh, 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 social messaging apps, right? And so this is a Telegram. And so on Telegram, we also push out a daily news brief as a text version. So, Similar to the approach that I mentioned earlier, how do you decide on where to start? So the daily news brief, when we started to conceive it, initially it was something that was for Amazon Echo. And we felt as a core platform, we also needed to be on iTunes. So we took that same audio daily news brief and repackaged it as a podcast. And so it's been featured in, even in the, po in the um, podcast store in Turkey as well, it's been featured here. Um, and so we took that and repackaged that. We said the core platforms we want to be on or Amazon Echo, we want to be on SoundCloud, and we want to be on iTunes. Also, we were in talks with Airchelec because they were in the process of launching their smart speaker, Assista. And so we're also available on Assista locally here in the Turkish market. And then we looked at additional places where we could go. We said, how can we go out to other third-party aggregators of audio content and podcasts and establish a presence there with this daily news brief? And so we looked at Player FM, we looked at TuneIn Radio and Spotify, and we launched it on all of these different third-party services and so that we can get further reach and further engagement. And so all of these were channels that were available to, available to this single product, which was an audio briefing of the most important stories of the day. And then from there, we came back and said, hey, we're putting this daily news brief out on all these other apps and services. Let's come back and put it onto our own products. And so that's when we invested in the daily news brief as a website player on trtworld.com. We integrated the daily news brief into our mobile apps. We even made it an email newsletter. And so this is a return on the effort of a small team of people to produce this high quality content each day. And then how can we package and, and distribute that out to the widest possible audience? Um, and then the last one is looking at social and messaging platforms. And so I showed an example where we had it in, in Telegram. And so we're looking at, you know, the daily news brief being pushed out across a wide range of services, whether it's Instagram as animation, animated videos or Telegram as a text that you can just read and catch up on the most important stories of the day. And so that's, you know, how we went about 
deploying a multi-channel strategy for TRT World, um, and particularly the daily news brief and our approach that we take that we, you know, like I say, the big ad, you know, uh, um, advice that I would give is just try to be present on a lot of platforms, but then don't end there. Try to integrate them back together and be smart. Use the data to help inform decisions and when to walk away from certain platforms. Um, and then that will help you be able to scale and deploy a multi-channel strategy for your brands or your services. Thank you so much for your time.